Behind me is the Mars show home and this is an accurate simulation of what real Martian astronauts might be living in when they go to Mars in perhaps 20 or 30 years time. We think of housing on Earth as providing a certain amount of shelter, but um, in fact on Mars where you live will be a survival capsule of sorts. It will uh, provide the oxygen that you need to breathe. It will suck the human Martian atmosphere in and uh, take the water out of it so you'll have a water supply. Um, it will protect you from primarily from solar radiation and from cosmic rays. The Mars home is designed to protect astronauts from the very harsh conditions on the surface and it has a very thick covering of bricks made from Martian regolith, so Martian soil, uh, mixed with binding agents and then baked to form these bricks, uh, which form a very, very good protection against the cold temperatures and the high radiation environment on the Martian surface. The walls that you see here, which are about two feet thick on Mars, would actually be about 16 feet thick. There will be no windows, but we will have these light tubes. And these light tubes are interesting because the sunlight comes down and then it bounces, and then it bounces again um, as the tube bends before the light comes into the home so that there's not too much solar radiation coming with the light. You end up with light but not solar radiation, which is something you have to be concerned with on Mars because the atmosphere is only one one hundredth as thick as it is on Earth, so you don't have this... Uh, absorbing blanket of atmosphere to block solar rays and at the same time you don't have a magnetosphere that we have on Earth. There are many many challenges that the astronauts will have to face but I think a really big problem is psychology. These people are going to be on a three-year mission, they're going to be in very close proximity to each other, they're going to be working very hard under very tough conditions. We need to make sure that they stay happy and mentally healthy. So the home is designed to give them a pleasant environment, to give them personal space and to allow them to personalise their own corner of the environment so that they feel that they're at home and that they can relax. This particular habitat would be an early type of habitat. This would be within the first 20 to 30 years of people living on Mars. So this is built mostly from materials that are available on Mars or recycled spacecraft or cargo that has been sent before humans actually uh, go to Mars to live on Mars. So th this is kind of a primitive form of what living environments will actually eventually be like on Mars. One of the reasons I'm really excited to have the show home here at the Royal Observatory is we get a lot of young visitors, a lot of children come in uh, and of course they are exactly the right generation to be the first people who actually do go to Mars. So maybe, just maybe, one of the kids who comes and gets inspired by the show home here at the Royal Observatory could be the first person to set foot on Mars.